Hi everyone, welcome back to Wildstock Collective. Today I'm excited to review the Nike Dunk Low Black White, or most commonly known today as the Panda. The Nike Dunk Low Black White released back in March 10th, 2021, but I managed to hit on a restock on July 21st, 2022. The Nike Dunk originally released in 1985 as a high top basketball sneaker. It is a fusion of three different shoes, the Legend, the Terminator, and the Jordan 1. Prior to the Dunk, most shoes at that time were only made in solid colors or with just one color. So the Nike Dunk actually led to the revolution known as color blocking, and it has become a staple in many subcultures. Retail on this is $110. Resale is about $200 currently, depending on your size. Well, all of that being said, I'm really excited about this one, so let's just jump right in. So I did pick these up for my girlfriend in her size because I do already have a pair. And here's the label. Pretty standard Nike orange box. Nothing out of the ordinary here. What we always typically see with most Dunks and other Nike releases. So let's dive right in. So if I may add, the Nike Dunk did recently get repopularized back in late 2019 and early 2020. I would say personally, I think the Strange Love Dunks created a lot of hype, as well as the Travis Scott Dunks Straight up. and the Chunky Dunkies. Without those three shoes, I don't think we would have the hype for dunks that we have today. I definitely feel that these strange loves started the wave. And of course, we all know Travis Scott and the Travis Scott effect. Straight up. He just solidified that wave and just took it to another level by the time that dropped. Um, I do believe the strange loves dropped first, I believe early February. And then the Travis Scott dunks dropped later that month. And I think the Chunky Dunkies ended up coming out in May of 2020. Also a huge hit. Resale was crazy on those. Resale was crazy on the Strange Loves. And I don't even, I'm sure I don't even have to mention how crazy the resale was for the Travis Scotts and currently still is the Travis Scott Dunks. Straight up. I'd say if it wasn't for those three shoes, we definitely would not see the Dunk phase or era or craze that you see today. Straight up! Although I wish quality could have been better on these dunks, um, I'm still very happy with the execution. They seem to be very durable. I mean, I'm beating mines into the ground. They're holding up really well. Um, and I might just have to double up for myself because this is just a really classic staple to have in your everyday rotation. Yeah, really like the shoe. It's like becoming the new black white bands or the Converse, uh, if I may say so myself. I see this shoe on feet more than I see a Vans, uh, a 
Converse Chuck Taylor. Um, yeah, I, I really feel like this is the shoe. It's like slowly even taking over the Air Force One. Um, the last couple years, I've seen that this shoe was at the top of the trending sneakers page on StockX. So, and, and the data is all there. You know, the numbers speak for themselves. Um, this shoe sold more than any shoe last year. I think aside from a Air Force One on the stock X analytics. But um, other than all of that, it's just a great shoe to have. You can really wear it with anything. It's really wearable. I personally love it. Let me know what you think about this shoe. Drop a comment. Hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. I appreciate everybody tuning in for the review and I hope to see everybody on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.